welcome to the after show. Uh, joining me is Michael. Woohoo! And we're going to be talking about Continuum, which finished a couple of weeks ago. Last Friday. Yeah. Yes. Literally, like, three days ago. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway um overall i honestly hadn't seen continuum until about two months ago tops oh dang yeah two, it would have been two months ago because it was i polished off season one two um all of them except for the most recent one in a week because one of the people were going to be at um what's her name the main the protector Rachel Luttrell. Rachel Luttrell? Mm -hmm. was what? No. No. Rachel Luttrell was um, Taylor in Sergeant Atlantis. Oh, yeah. Rachel Nichols. Rachel, Rachel Nichols. Nichols. Rachel Nichols. Yeah. They oh, were, I love... They I were, love for the, for the record... Rachel Luttrell, but still. For the record, they were both at Oz Comic Con. So, and I've been getting them uh, backwards the whole goddamn time. Anyway. So, um, so, yeah, anyway. She was going to Oz Comic Con, so I wanted to catch up on that show in case we got an interview slot with her, and I wanted to make sure I knew what the hell I was talking about. So I, I ploughed through the uh, the first uh, three seasons or four seasons or something really, really quick. Um, and I just finished watching episode six, which I totally forgot was a six episode season for the final season. And it, I must admit, it does end really, really well. Oh, all good, things considered. Um, there's, at the end of season, I think it's, I'm pretty sure the last season, season four, isn't it? Well, yeah. Season four was the last yeah. one made. Yeah. Um, I just wasn't hundred percent sure. I'd watched so much of it so quickly, my brain is still a bit of a jumble. Um. So, what the hell is that? Uh, so yeah, anyway, so season four kicks off with an army attacking from an alternate future timeline. I mean, six or seven soldiers, but still. Yeah, but it's, they're technically from an from an alternate timeline, and they're wearing what is effectively Iron Man suits. That's an army. True. <laughs> and then the animation for those suits was horrible. Yeah, it was. Um, I was really disappointed. Like, it looked so cool when they beat, like, tr like transported in the end of season three. And then it was just like... Yeah, but the TV shows only have so much money and Continuum had its budget annihilated. Know, it was the last six episodes. They couldn't put a little bit more money into making it look good at least? No. So they're lucky to get six episodes and you know it. That's true, unfortunately. Um, so, but anyway, so they hold up for most of the season in this warehouse trying to create what effectively turns out to be a wormhole uh, machine so that they can bring people from their timeline back and invade our timeline, um, the main timeline, um, and win the war that they're losing horribly before their war starts. Mm -hmm. um, and effectively what happens is the Kellogg steals one of the time spheres and uses it to go back in time to say he went back in time a little bit too far doesn't quite do it justice he went back about 10,000 15,000 years and he started the um, what's what are the name of the people that what was the group that he had um, oh no 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 he was not the traveller Oh, wait, he wasn't the traveler. No. Oh, uh, whoops! I'm sorry, I messed up. No, I'm no. Showing no. how I, how much I missed. Yeah, he Michael might have missed a couple episodes. Um, no, couple. no, he wasn't. He wasn't the traveler, but the traveler um helped them close off the alternate timeline and helped get um what's her face the protector back to her time period. Ah, uh, um, yes. And because he left, she left um what's his face, the kid behind. And the kid worked with the son, his name I can't remember, but anyway, the kid worked with the son to... Um, to Alec? Uh, yeah, Alec. Alec worked with his, with Jason, that's it, Alec and Jason. Yes, Jason. Worked together to avoid the future that she had come from. So when she returned to her, to the future, she returned to a totally different world she didn't recognise. That was exponentially better than what she left. Um, no more sort of dystopian future. It was actually a really positive future. Her son was there, and it was all sort of looked really, really good. she saw herself. Um, what? 
Right. It says she saw herself from that timeline. So. Yeah, well. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, she was sort of really happy that she got back, but sort of disappointed at the same time because of she saw herself and all that sort of stuff. And, um, yeah, it was, it was done really, really well. The last, it did feel rushed, like taking out the soldiers and manipulating the time machine so that it would take them, for, take her back to her time did feel mm -hmm. rushed, but at the same time, it was done really well. Yeah, I actually, I found something that I wanted to mention about Continuum, and I don't, I just found this now, and I don't remember ever seeing or hearing about this, yep. but I'd be really interested to see if you did, because this is, like, something that I would have expected us to have put on to save sci-fi, um, and maybe I missed it, but did you know about the original plan for Continuum, how long it was supposed to be? No. So... I, again, I don't know if this is true or not. I just found this article. I've never seen this stuff before. Um, but it's supposedly about um, something that Simon Barry said, you know, the executive producer and creator of Continuum. Supposedly, he was eyeing seven to ten seasons to tell the full story. Oh, wow. Um, this was an article from May 14th of last year. Oh, um, do I remember that? You do? Yeah, I, I do remember that. I remember, I I remember have, seeing that. I remember because back then, I, like only until very recently, I didn't really care that much for Continuum. I watched the first episode, thought, "Oh, this is interesting. I'll get back to it." Never did. Yeah, um, I don't remember ever hearing so. about this. He said, "His the quote is: We have always been driving towards the same destination. We've just taken a lot more side trips than we planned. I've always thought that seven to ten seasons would be a great opportunity to tell the full breadth of the story that I had in mind, and the writers have added to in the years since. You don't get to choose that in this business, so hopefully we'll get that chance. Well." Apparently not. No. But, but, I mean, I can't believe seven to ten series, seasons. I mean, what show nowadays plans that long? Yeah. I like one of the comments. It better be renewed. And as far as ten seasons goes, I'd like to see Carlos quit drinking with Kira's frozen corpse by at least season seven. <laughs> any, longer, any longer than that, and he should seek professional help. <laughs> <sighs> that is... Uh... Hilariously fair point, given when that article would have come out. Yeah. Yep. So, so anyway, overall, for the whole run of the season, I know you haven't seen the end of it yet. You'll probably go and watch that later today or tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'll get my homework done. Oh. How would you rate it? Oh, for this season? For the whole show. Oh, the whole show. Oh, geez. Um, seven and a half, eight out of ten. Uh, I don't know, maybe higher. I particularly really loved this show. Yeah. Um. Just like I did, Falling Skies. I mean, th these two were like the two multi, the two most successful science fiction shows in the la in the last five years. Yeah, and I love them both so much, and I'm really sad that Continuum ended and Falling Skies ended. They both ended this year. I'm so sad about that. Yeah, but you said that the the finale was a good finale for this show. Yeah, it felt a bit rushed, but it was definitely a better finale than Falling Skies. I was gonna say because Falling Skies finale sucked. Yeah, I was so mad. But I'm sure you guys already talked about that, didn't you? You talked about it with us. Did I really? Yes. <laughs> I have a horrible memory. All right. Wow. Well, anyway, yes. So I'm, I'm excited Weow. to see. Shush. I'm excited to see the fi the finale for Continuum. Although you know, I mean, yeah, I, this season definitely, from what I saw, I mean, seems so rushed. The end of season three was ridiculous i mean it was insane they showed they had like five different like liberate came back together um the traveler was released the soldiers appeared you know all you know then of course you've got um um oh what's his name god dang, kellogg in charge of pyron yeah you know, all this stuff happening and then i then when i heard that there was a six season six episode finale i was just like how in the world are they going to get done yeah. like with this? Yeah, the the pacing on it was done very interestingly. The first two episodes felt like a fifteen episode season. They really did. Um and the second two the pace picked up quite rapidly. The last two the pace just went through the roof. So I don't know if that's because they had the first two already down when they were announced they're only getting six. 
and they were just they just sort of went well we've already got these down so let's just rush the last couple mm-hmm. i don't know but yeah that's just how it felt to me overall i would rate i would give continuum yeah seven i think sounds fair overall um i would definitely rate it relatively high up the food chain put it that way Mm-hmm. It's it's better. I'd, I'd rate it higher than Falling Skies. I'd rate it higher than Revolution. Um, higher than Caprica. I'm just trying to think of other sci-fi wait, wait, series said, that are recently. Wait, you said the finales or the overall show? Overall show. Ooh, I don't know if I'd rate this over Falling Skies. Falling Skies was. Yeah. I'll, 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 uh, this one, Falling Skies, and this one, I think are about equal in terms of how good they were overall. I loved them both for, and they were both great for different reasons. Yeah. The... See, my biggest issue I had with Falling Skies is that it was stupendously inconsistent. And to me, a show that's, is inconsi- that, that's inconsistent loses points. So that's why Falling Skies rates so low. Each season felt very, very, very disjointed from the rest of the show. It didn't oh, sort yeah. of... Didn't, didn't they, flow very true. well. Continuum, it, Continuum flows really, really well. Oh, it does. You it can, does. You can plow through does. all the series and it doesn't feel weird. Falling Skies, you try and marathon Falling Skies, and the end of every season, the start of the next, feels like a massive well, jump. Just like the later no, seasons was, of Supernatural. I think three and four, um, I think three, or was it three and four or four or five? Uh, there were, there were two, 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 like, uh, two sets of seasons in Falling Skies where they actually were directly continuous. But you're right, most of the time it was, most of them, uh, the other three or whatever, it jumped some yeah. time period. But there, there were two. I think it was the last season, uh, the yeah, you know, the the period between the 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 uh, fourth and fifth. Yeah. I think that was continuous. And I think the one between first and second was continuous. Yeah, um, yeah, it just, yeah, it just falling skies definitely felt like it didn't have a vision. Continuum felt like it did have a did have a vision, for the most part. So, so, yeah. and it was definitely getting yeah. very sort of timey wimey at the end. I still reckon every TV show or movie that has time travel needs to have a blue police phone box in the background. <laughs> Everyone. Just just once. <laughs> one shot, one episode in its entire run. No reference to what it is. Just have it in the background at the back of a shot. Not very obvious. Just have it sitting back there. Every sci-fi show should have the blue phone box. Because yeah, the BBC I mean... can't stop you because they can't copyright... A blue phone box because it's public. It's public domain. That's, as long as you don't call it a TARDIS, you're fine. <sighs> so. Well, I guess that's true, you know. <laughs> technicalities for the win. Yes, technicalities, all right. So, yeah. Anyway, um, and that... why don't you? I have to ask. Wait, sorry, do you have something more about Continuum or? No, no, no. You, you go. I was just curious. I want to. I want to hear. What your problem is with Minority Report? Uh, I just found it boring. I didn't sort of. It's, it's it was not an interesting. Quite what I expected. It was an, okay. The way I described it in the podcast um, last week was it had a, it's a concept that has a lot of potential, but it felt like a swing and a miss. Mm-hmm. Like it was, it, it's the, the the raw potential is there, but it doesn't seem able to sort of reach it like it's sort of like it's yeah like it's 10 percent of what it could have been put it that way and it feels like they're setting up just another because i've only watched the first episode and it felt like all they were doing was setting up another cop needs help doing their job because they're not good enough to do their job on their own type scenario i mean that is kind of and that was what kind of worried me when i first heard about minority report being coming a tv series so. It kind of it kind of worried me because I it clearly was not going to be the same as the movie. Yeah. And um, and you know, I was kind of like, it's going to be another sci-fi copish drama. You know, there was almost human, which was fantastic. Yeah. But you know, there well, was. You, uh, you got the listener. You got Castle. You've got to an extent Continuum. You've got. Cast. Wait, Castle. What? Castle. Castle is not science fiction. Castle isn't science fiction, but it is a cop show oh, yeah. with a dude that comes in and helps the cop do their job better. Oh, that's true. Yes, it's, I it, love Castle, by the way. That that's a it's it's becoming such a massive trope that I'm bored with it. Just just uh, having it feel true. like that is enough for me to go. No, nah, I'm done with this. 
I know that's true, but the, so. the thing is, the thing is, Minority Report really, there's only so much you can do. Vary it. I mean, they've got a basis for the series, which is the movies, you know. And th- what they've been hinting at, and I don't remember if they did that in the first episode or not. Um, please let me know if they did. Uh, but what they've been hinting at is that his sister, um, that Dash's sister and uh, and brother or whatever, have okay. realized have done. You were saying? I was going to say that they've got some sort of plan thing brewing. At the very end of the first episode, they mention it, but it was still... Wait, wait, that they have a plan? It's something like that. Well, what Well, what it is the, the, is that... They're doing they've a thing. Got, whatever the thing is, I don't well, know. I don't... Eh, yeah, maybe, but what it was was that they've get, they've had... They're having visions that they're going to come and take them again. Yeah. So, like, like predicting a repeat of the original events in Minority Report. Yeah. Which I mean, it'll be interesting, I think, to see. But yeah, um, I don't know. It just felt like another procedural cop drama that has a random person that joins the crew to to try and help solve crime. And I'm just, I I'm guess, just, I'm just over that sort of sort of show. Yeah, the only thing I think that, in particular, Minority Report has going for it is that it's not just a random person. It's an established, it's an established world already. Yeah. And I think that has that's, that's what true. it's got going for it. Yeah. More so than other like more so than other such shows. Yeah. But yeah, it's it just sort of yeah, I don't know. I just I couldn't get into it and I just I watched the first episode and I sort of walked away from it just feeling very blasé. So that's what it boils down to. Anyway, that's about all the time we have for the after show. So any final thoughts? Um I can't wait for uh for uh The Expanse and Childhood's End. Agreed and agreed. Um, definitely can't look. For, definitely looking forward to them. Um, you'll have to let me know if I can definitely watch them and cover them on this. So, um, next week's podcast is Back to the Future, because hilariously, they come back to the future supposedly the day after we record the next podcast. Well, why don't we just have it on that day then? Because we can't do it Wednesdays. Oh, okay. Otherwise we would. That's right. It's Tuesday for you right now. Yeah, Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. Yeah, it's 8 p.m. Monday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time zones. Gotta love them. Wibbly wobbly. Timey wimey. Timey wimey things. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 one of my, just really, really quickly. One of my favorite things, uh, pictures online is the picture of the DeLorean crashed into the TARDIS and yes. the Bill and Ted guys standing next to it scratching their head. <laughs> like wow <laughs> it is great uh, anyway guys we'll catch you in the next podcast yeah